Next on the news at 6 o'clock, a teacher who was also a reserve EBR sheriff's deputy is facing action amid allegations he raped a student at school last week. He is no longer with the sheriff's office, and tonight the school system tells us that a Struma High School staffer is on paid leave. The sheriff's office is investigating. The investigative unit in Chris Nakamoto spoke to the teen's father about what he wants to see happen. Sylvia Michael, the former deputy and teacher, is Johnny Butler. We're told he taught health and coached track. We're not identifying the student because she's alleging she was raped. At Estruma High School last week, Johnny Butler is accused of crossing the line with a student. For the life of me, I don't think I don't understand how you think you can get away with it. This father claims his daughter was raped. She was taken to the hospital where a rape kit was performed. He asked us not to hide his face because he wants the teacher to see the pain that he caused to his daughter. He pushed her in the closet at school, in the gym, in the weight room, and he forced himself up on her. Now he's a big guy. As soon as that happened, the teen made a call to her friend. She got out of there because she was crying. Whose mother immediately brought her to the hospital. It was general, and uh, they had to do rape kits and all of that, uh, give her some medication and stuff like that. That's when the East Baton Rouge Parish Sheriff's Office was contacted. My daughter's broken. Um, she's up one minute, and then the next minute she breaks down, so I got to kind of coach her through. While the daughter claims she was raped, sources say initially she did not want to press charges. Either way, this state law stands in the way of what happened, prohibiting sexual conduct between an educator and student. The law forbids an educator from having sexual intercourse with a person who is 17 years of age or older but less than 21. And there is a difference in age greater than four years between the two people. Those requirements were met in this case, but nearly a week after that incident, the teacher has not been arrested. I understand that the, the, the sheriff's got to do their job, and I'm all for that, you know what I mean? But I just can't understand for the life of me, if they have the evidence and my daughter saying what happened, and even the school let him go, why is he still... Roaming the street. Tonight, this father has a special message for Butler, who he says crossed the line with his daughter on campus. You need to just take your leak, man, and, and, and take your charge. You, you, you done, you done wrong. We reached out to the East Baton Rouge Parish Sheriff's Office about this case. The spokeswoman said this case remains ongoing and active. She says he was fired as a reserve deputy the same day the allegations came to light. Sylvia.